If there is one thing Americans do well, it is country music. My Lord, I love your American country music. Now, Chinese electric car startup Nita just unveiled its new Model V Pro, which has 400 kilometers of range, a 16 inch touchscreen, and costs 12,000 US dollars. You know, if this car startup was located in America, everyone would have heard of them by now. But do a Google search for Dita and you'll find precisely nothing. In China, they're just one of many. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, coming to you here at 7.30 p.m. on a Saturday night from Melbourne, Australia. Thank you for subscribing, watching the channel, liking the videos, and letting me know just what you think about the videos, if they're awesome, if they suck, or if you agree with what I say. As you know, I'm quite opinionated, but I usually try to base those opinions on facts. So Nita automobiles are all electric cars built by all electric car brand, Hozon Auto. Hozon is a Chinese all electric car marquee manufactured by the Zhejiang Hasong New Energy Automobile Company. They were founded in 2014 and announced their first concept car in 2017, a fully electric vehicle with its own dedicated platform. Their first EV, the Nita N01 compact SUV, was launched in 2018. Now, the company now has four different electric car models, and I guarantee you that, well, you haven't heard of them before. Well, 99% of you haven't anyway. So Hozon just unveiled its latest Nita EV, the V Pro model on November the 3rd, offering two versions priced at $12,000 US dollars up to around about $14,000 US dollars for the top, more luxurious model. It's an upgraded version though of the existing V model with upgraded features and services and is the company's third model on sale after the Nita V and the Nita Lee Pro and the Nita U Pro. And the first to be equipped with the safety protection system from China's largest sub security company, Kui Ho 360. Now, believe it or not, I was having this conversation recently with a friend. Believe it or not, there is this misconception that Chinese EVs are not, or Chinese cars are not technologically advanced. In fact, the complete opposite is true. If you actually look at the technology in cars like Xpeng vehicles, Neo's vehicles, and even other EV makers, which most people haven't heard of, it is way ahead of anything you see in a Toyota. Way ahead. I'm talking like it makes a Toyota look like an old PC from 2010. Seriously. The Nita is a very similar size to BYD's Dolphin vehicle, which I'm sure most of you know from watching the channel. If you don't know about the BYD Dolphin, you need to know about it. I'll put some links in the description below to videos where you can learn about one of the most important cars in the world right now. Length is 4,070 millimeters, so about 4.1 meters. Width is 1.7 meters, and the height is 1.5 meters with a wheelbase of 2.4 meters. So it's equipped with a 70 kilowatt motor with peak torque of 150 newton meters. Not a lot of torque and power, but remember, Sometimes that makes sense. If you want more efficiency and more range, put in a smaller motor. Generally, that'll give you further bigger. Generally, that'll give you a longer range. So its acceleration time is not too bad. 3.9 seconds from zero to 50 kilometers an hour and a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour. What kind of battery does it come with? It's equipped with a ternary lithium battery with a capacity of 38.54 kilowatt hours and an NEDC range of 401 kilometers. I would say real world figures, you're probably looking at about 330 kilometers. So the price, 12,000 US dollars. Let's be honest, this car would sell like crazy, just as all Chinese cars will sell like crazy once they've hit overseas markets. But realistically, I mean, 12,000 US dollars, it's fantastic. But if you think about it, you can get the Wuling Hongwan Mini for around 7,000 US dollars, before you get the $2,000 cash back from the Chinese government, which brings it down to 5,000, for about 7,000 with a 300 kilometer range. 
realistically, electric cars already are, already on par with ICE vehicles, and in some cases, actually cheaper. Now, Nita's previous models on sale were the Nita V and the Nita U Pro, with a former price between 60,000 RMB and 76,000 RMB after subsidies. And the latter was 99,800 RMB and 160,000 RMB. Nita is essentially a kind of a budget to mid-range priced electric car manufacturer. But if you have a look at their interiors, you can see that you get a bigger media screen on most of their models. And they cost, I mean, the technology in these cars is insanely impressive. If you want to get this kind of technology in a Toyota Corolla, well, first of all, you can't get it. Second of all, if you want to get a bigger screen this size, well, you can't get it. But if you want to get a screen that's even like, say, two thirds of this size, you've got to pay to get additional options packs. And this goes for almost all car brands not made in China. So Nita is a real true electric car underdog. It's amazing to me that no one is talking about them. Despite securing billions of dollars from 360 Quihu in April and October this year, and outselling both Neo and Li Auto in October, Nida sold over 8,000 EVs last month in China alone. And yet, nobody's talking about them. It's bizarre. So apparently their cars are now equipped with a comprehensive upgrade of their Level 2 Intelligent Auxiliary Drive System, IntelliSenso, Level 2 driving assist. This is extremely impressive for the price. It's just, honestly, there's nothing else on the market that even comes close to this other than the BYD Dolphin in terms of value. It's equipped with high performance chips and core sensors. And thanks to this new technology, it has full-time real awareness of its surrounding environment and road conditions, significantly increasing the safety of users. Once again, misperception, Chinese cars are not safe. Well, truth is, they are. Remember, most vehicles from most brands don't come with adaptive cruise because you have to pay more to order that up and most people don't want to pay for the extra option pack so they don't get adaptive cruise, whereas it comes standard on the 12,000 US dollar EV here. And it works from zero to 120 kilometers an hour. It's not one of those systems that only works in certain range of kilometers. It works for the full range from zero to 100. It uses a suite of cameras, a long range millimeter wave radar and 12 ultrasonic radars which are able to cover more than 20 complex conditions such as congestion, intersection parking, uphill, downhill, and a range of others as well. Now, apparently it actually has one button remote parking and it can automatically detect a parking space and park the car for you, completely solving the problem of having a novice or a new driver trying to park in a difficult spot. Now, the thing is, right, you're probably looking at the screen thinking, oh, sure, it's a 15 inch screen, that's great, but it's probably a crappy one, it's not. It's 1920 by 1080 or 1920 by 1080 HD resolution screen. It's a brighter display versus their old model and it has 360 degree information security. Now, in addition to this, Nita pays a lot of attention to product quality and user driving safety. From the information that I can find, this is legit. The, it comes with a HEPT 3.0 thermostatic battery management system if you look at a Nissan Leaf, it doesn't have a battery, proper battery management system still, but a 12,000 US dollar car does. For example, it's equipped with Nita's V Pro features and it features active cooling for high and low temperature heating and thermal management so that the battery can operate in optimum conditions, extending battery life and increasing the range, especially in winter. You can't make this stuff up. They're literally packaging this stuff into a 12,000 US dollar car competing with well, a 30,000 in America, that is, it's more expensive in other countries, Nissan Leaf. It's better than that 30,000 Leaf. I mean, it's unbelievable. In addition to that, it has ESC body stability safety system, which apparently prevents understeer or oversteer and significantly improves the vehicle's safety. So here's what I want to know. Tell me the truth. Have you heard of Nita electric cars before? Did you know they existed? And did you know that they outsold Li Auto and Neo in the month of October? and no one said a word about it. Strange. Now, realistically, be honest, if this car company was located in America or Europe, would we have heard about it? I think we would have. I think probably all of us would have heard how they were about to do a huge funding round and they're about to list on the stock exchange and there was all this exciting news and they were one of the big players. Instead, they're just one of the many in China. And that is one of the key reasons why 
well, Europe is in big trouble. Once a lot of these car manufacturers start selling these cars outside of China, well, realistically, be honest, would you be willing to pay $18,000 more for a Nissan Leaf, which in many facets isn't as good? I don't think you would, but let me know. What would you prefer, this for $12,000 or the Nissan Leaf for $30,000? That's my question. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching the channel. Appreciate your support. It's fantastic. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.